does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need Is it important to do something big in life, huh? Or is it preferable to do better in something small that you pick up? Abhinav, I need to understand your question. What do you mean by something big in life? Uh, something big in life means anything that if someone is Sachin Tendulkar, everyone needs to have the same identity as Sachin Tendulkar, or anyone. Uh, can, uh, what do you mean by Sachin Tendulkar? Let's so, understand. Sachin Tendulkar means that he has a big identity as a cricketer. Who gave him that identity? So, we gave him the identity. Right. So, something big yes. means recognition by a lot of people? Yes, sir. All so, right. is it uh, every time important that... Uh, a lot of people recognize yes. us. All right. Yes. And what is the second part then? Small so, and big. So, the second part is that anything you do. So, uh, Suppose that for a cricket coaching, that is anyone is uh, anyone is uh, coach in any cricket uh, coaching academy. So if he does better in that, so it, is it important that he thinks that no, I should uh, I should have been such a tender girl. If I if I have so to by coach, coach, you mean someone who is not recognized by many people. Yes. So your question then boils down to asking, is it important to have a lot of fame? and popularity hmm? in a field recognized by many people or is it better to do well in a limited area of your own where not many people may know you? Hmm? That is the question then. Alright, sit. Good. By rephrasing the question, we have already come very close to the solution. Have we not? Have we not? Who is the man who wants popularity? And what will happen to him if popularity doesn't come? And what is the cost of popularity? Think of it. We started today's session by saying that we are afraid of others. And we also become popular among Why should I crave for recognition from somebody else? Remember, the one who will give me recognition, sanction, will act on his own values. <coughs> he will appreciate only that which he thinks is appreciable. If everybody thinks that black is appreciable, then what will I need to do to get their appreciation? I'll need to become black, wear black, demonstrate black, right? Is that not so? To get popularity and fame among people, you'll have to do what the people like, right? Is that not so? Is that not so? So who is the master and who is the slave? When you are popular, you think you are the hero. But you have forgotten that you are popular only because you are doing what others want you to do. The day you do something else, you will not remain popular. Others want an actor to do certain kinds of roles, right? And he keeps on doing those kinds of roles. He remains a superstar. The day he says, I will not do these kinds of roles, I would rather do something else. What will happen to him? 
Nobody comes to watch his movies. Who is the master then? The audience or the actor? Who is the master? It is another matter that I do something which is emanating from my own core and then a few people happen to like it, just incidentally. I didn't want them to like it, but they looked at it, they happened to look at it and they liked it, then it is alright. But if I act with the intention of pleasing the masses, then I have already become a slave of the masses, have I not? Have I not? <laughs> Remember, the common characteristic of masses is mediocrity. Hmm? And to become popular among masses, you will have to fall to mediocrity. Without becoming mediocre, it is impossible to become popular. Excellence never becomes very popular. You would have heard of a lot of very mediocre, even cheap writers. But how many of you have heard of Lao Tzu, let alone read him? Excellence never becomes popular. Those of you who are running after popularity must know that you can become popular only by coming down to the level of the lowest common denominator. Then you can become popular. Do everything that the masses like. Simultaneously, two movies were released. There was that movie called Dabang. I was there in a multiplex. On two adjacent screens, these two movies were being shown. One was the one, and the other was Ship of Theseus. And I looked at the length of the queues in front of the two halls. The one was oversold. And nobody was entering Ship of Theseus. Now this movie, Ship of Theseus, is an excellent movie. But it cannot become popular. If you want to become popular, you will only need to do item numbers. You want to do item numbers all your life? That's what you want to spend your life doing? Cheap thrills? You will become very popular. First of all, popularity means becoming a slave to others. Secondly, popularity means becoming a slave to others who are very mediocre. Not only are you a slave, you are slave to an idiot. How does that sound? How does that sound? First of all, I am a slave. And a slave to thousands. Secondly, I am a slave to idiots. Mediocre people. How does that sound? A batchmate of mine has entered politics and is rising steadily up. Now, IITN. I once heard him speak to a formidable gathering. And the content that he was speaking was so trivial. After the gathering, I called him and I said, what have you been speaking? Do you really believe in this? He said, I can only speak what they want me to speak. One does not get votes by saying the right thing. One gets votes by saying what the audience wants to hear.
He said to come close to them, I have to fall to their level. I said, no, you are mistaken. There is another way. To come close to them, you can help them rise to your level. That too is possible. He said that takes too much of effort. No. Falling is always easier, right? Going up against the pull of gravity is always a little more difficult. What do you think? The followers follow the leader? No. The leader follows the followers. And then the leader becomes very popular, very recognized. If the people are craving for economic growth, the leader will come and say, I will give you economic growth. And he will get the votes. If the people are craving for revenge against a neighboring country, the leader will come and say, give me votes and I will destroy the neighboring country. And he will become popular and get votes. Who is following whom? Look closely at it. Who is following whom? Is the leader being followed or is the leader actually following? Don't go after popularity. Popularity means looking at yourself through the eyes of others. Hmm? How do I look at myself? Through numbers. How many people know me? And we are already moving in that direction. So many of you count your Facebook likes. Just as a leader counts his votes, you count your Facebook likes. How many people are with me? Popularity means I do not have an internal locus of control. I am constantly looking at others, trying to please them. No. You have your own life to live. You live in your own mind. Be sure of that. If a few people come to recognize you just by chance, it is all right. But that cannot become your primary motive. You do what you must do. Hmm? You do what you must do. You do that which brings peace to you. And let me tell you, when you are doing that which stems from your peace and which brings peace, then a few people will come to you, just a few people will recognize you, but those will be real people. What do you want? A thousand idiots surrounding you or five real friends with you? What do you want? Just have five people around you, that is preferable, far better, but let those five be authentic people. Hmm? And authentic people come only to authentic people. An authentic man can never be attracted to a fake person. That is the reward of being real. When you are real, Not only you enjoy being with yourself, but you also find that your environment is full of the best that the world can offer. Getting it? Big and small, popular or unpopular, recognized or unrecognized, forget these things. Who told you something is big and something is small? Hmm? You see, I was here when the week before last, one of your batchmates asked me, Sir, you have such educational qualifications, you cleared every possible entrance exam that can be cleared. 
Why are you not sitting in some top position in some foreign country? Why are you here with us? It does not matter. It does not matter what the world thinks about your position. You live with yourself and that's what matters. You will be making some very important decisions in the next few years. Do not make those decisions considering how they would be perceived by society or friends. Do not make those decisions considering what the convention has been. Look afresh at them. Don't go by the traditional definitions of good, bad, right, wrong, big, small, acceptable, unacceptable. What comes from your intelligence, only that is acceptable. Everything else is totally unacceptable. Right? Any other reflections? Two minutes.